Hello everyone and welcome back to Dragon Age Inquisition. In the last session we did what is probably my favourite part, definitely one of my favourite parts, if not my absolute favourite part, from all of Dragon Age. It was just absolutely fantastic. The mission, amazing. The, the reveals during it and how we affected everything and Morrigan returning and then the cutscene after where we finally got answers. Finally went through the Illuvian saw what lies beyond a whole like realm not the fade but close to it she said whole realm of alluvians linking to places far flung oh man the possibilities the possibilities there are so many it was amazing it was genuinely one of the best parts of the entire dragon age franchise and i'm incredibly fucking gassed about it so we set a bunch of things to go uh support from navara a letter delivered to Skyhold. It was a pleasure meeting with your representatives. We are happy to lend the Inquisition our support. Tyrion Venito on behalf of Her Grace, Duchess Amalia. And we got a toy soldier. Gee, With the Civil thanks. War over, Orle is focusing on rebuilding. Good to know. Uh, the name of our enemy, right. This was the one where we're trying to find out what Corypheus' original name was. Because Corypheus is the fake name he took so that people... Wouldn't know who he is, but like, maybe we'll know now. Uh, Agent, a mage named Sidoni, returned from Minratha successful in her task. She posed as a Magister's assistant, bluffing her way into the Magisterium's library to ostensibly perform research, and managed to acquire not only the Liberalum, but also a number of other mystical tomes, all without leaving any evidence that traces back to the Inquisition. It may take some time for Dorian to go through the Liberalum, ah, but he is optimistic that something within will prove of use, so we don't actually get it. <laughs> Oh, we might eventually, but we don't get it yet. I want to know. It'd be funny if his name was like Clive or something. <laughs> uh, I have requests for information on your lineage from a few interested parties at the Winter Palace. Oh, yeah? And trust they preserve me. Feel free to use those requests as kindling. Banter. No, I shall take them. I want to know who pines for our commander. We can use this to our advantage. <laughs> I'm not bait. <laughs> Hush. Just look pretty. Trust you, Liliana. Claim the Grey Warden Cash. Right, we sent Cullen on this one, right? The Grey Warden Cash gave us some excellent equipment, useful to any military force. It also included several rare designs not seen for hundreds of years. They should serve us well in the fights to come. But we didn't actually get anything? Rewards received. Nothing. Sure. Uh, right, so... A whisper from behind the throne. An offer of help. Oh, this was, was this a Leliana one? Am I... A hole in the surface is precious sky, not our concern. But the thing that did it, if this Magister shit really brought the blight and the darkspawn, we're no friend of that. Follow these instructions and you'll catch your enemy sleeping. Tell your soldiers not to leave the main tunnel. That's your only warning. Alright, so... Do as they say, no more, no less. Yeah, that is what we want. Leliana, Let's go, go, gadget, have. go. Okay. Uh, so... Wait, fuck. Busy? And the only person we've sent is Leliana, so the only person that can do this one is Leliana? Alright. Uh, House uh, Al Am Ladaris. Dorian has completed his research. Well, that was quick. Oh my god, six hours? Fuck me. Completed his research using the Liberalum and believes he has found a connection between Corypheus and an ancient magister named... Oh, well, we find out now. Okay. We don't have to do the six hours thing, we just know. His name is Sethius. Alright. Of House Amladaris. This will be difficult to prove and maybe of limited use, but it's worth noting that House Amla Amladaris still exists. Even the accusation that Corypheus and Sethius are the same person would be worthy of a scandal in Tavinta, one that the current members of that family might be desperate to avoid. Interesting. Is Sethius a good name? Eh. Eh. I mean, it's not Clive, but it's not great. I can see why he named himself Corypheus, that's much better. Sethius. All right. Anyway, who would we send on this? So Leliana, send them the information as a gesture of goodwill and let's see what they do with it. Okay. Blackmail them. <laughs> I'm sorry, have you two swapped fucking personalities? Leliana's the one saying, let's do it as goodwill. And Josephine is the one saying, let's blackmail them. They would undoubtedly do the same to us as if our positions were reversed. Uh, every Deventer house has enemies. Sell the information to one of them. Eh. I guarantee you that'd be like, wow, we've sold it for the most amount of money we've ever seen. And then it's like a hundred gold or something. Uh, but what are we blackmailing them for? Is it just cash or... I don't know. Honestly, I'd probably lean towards Leliana on that as well, which is a real pisser because... Gotta do that, gotta do that, gotta do that. 
Leliana's too good, man. Unmask those across the sea. Fuck, it's another Leliana one. You gotta be shitting me. I had our people remove the downward pointing triangular symbols from our outposts. They have not made a reappearance, which means little. It's clear someone has an interest in the Inquisition. Someone organized with ties to those across the sea. We've eliminated the Canari as the most obvious suspects. Nonetheless. Oh, hiccup, pardon me. Nonetheless, knowing who they're not does not tell us who they are, what they're doing, or why. They're clever, we know that, and they have resources. But so do we, and they should learn that they are not to toy with the Inquisition. Leliana, if our investigations have any hope of succeeding, we'll have, a, we'll have to strike hard and fast before they even know we're looking. A coordinated effort hitting all the leads we have at once. Or, this is pointless, I won't commit our forces to hunting a shadowy cabal obsessed with little chalk drawings. I say we forget this and focus on Corypheus. What? It takes two hours and 36 minutes for the Inquisitor to go, forget it. <laughs> Okay, well that's Leliana as well. Motherfucker, the entire- all of these are Leliana. Son of a bitch. Why is she so good? Okay, aid those impacted by the Civil War. That's probably a Josephine thing. The Imperial Army will aid the Inquisition's forces against Corypheus, but they must also address lingering issues at home. Weaknesses in the Vale, no doubt heightened due to rifts, has resulted in demons on the road between Val Foray and Montsimard. This would demand a call to action at the best of times. Unfortunately, the increased number of travellers on the roads, merchants attempting to restore trade and displace civilians returning home after the war, has made the situation worse. The head of the Imperial Army has requested assistance from the Inquisition in subduing this threat. Leliana, I doubt the army needs the assistance of a full complement of soldiers. My agents can scout the roads and divert travellers. Josephine, merchants often travel with armed escorts, but civilians require safe shelter. We could petition the Chantry for aid on their behalf. A chance to solidify our alliance and prove ourselves they're equal. A joint venture will also increase our understanding of Imperial Army structure and tactics. Sounds good to me. Alright. So we just need Josephine. Alliances reaching ever upward. That's probably a Josephine thing, right? There is a contender there is a contender to rival the alliance with the Tybalts. Lady Richelieu sent the following letter. The de Rosiers are a stubborn threat. The most efficient way to deal with them is to nullify with social al alliance. But the only pairing of import is unavailable because the Tybalt daughter has betrothed herself elsewhere. She has the luxury of such a wasteful pairing because of the Inquisition bearing the weight in, that, in this partnership. Our hands are tied. You face the difficult task of attacking the status of Lord de Rosier unless you were to demand that task of the Tybalts. If their investment were more taxing, they would be more inclined to an arranged match for the daughter. And that is a well-respected currency in Orlais. Leliana would say, end his good name. His way is his way is honourable conflict. With careful words, he will be powerless before he steps in court. Or, I cannot claim it will be popular, but it would hardly be unusual for an allied partner to ask for such a concession. Such is the way of the nobility. Eh. It's probably a Leliana one. Son of a bitch. Son of a bitch. Hmm. Inquisitor, with her treachery revealed, Marquise Effiloche Buffon has fled into the mountains. Our initial efforts to pursue her have been hampered by both the terrain and the presence of demons in the area. While we have had difficulty making headway, the Grey Wardens have offered to assist. They seem to be the only force in the area capable of doing so. Regardless, I believe it's worth pursuing if we have the means to do so. Uh, right. Our concern is the Marquis, not the demons. My people can find a way to her. Eh, but there's demons in the area. Uh, may have had enemies among the nobles. Some of them may have information or safe passes. The Grey Wardens will do better against demons than normal Inquisition soldiers. Let them fight through the mountains. It's probably Leliana again. Information on safe passes. Like, obviously, Grey Wardens would be good, but, like, if we could get the Grey Wardens through safely, that would be better. Either way, it's definitely not Josephine. Fuck me, man. Surely the Inquisitor cannot be part of such things. It seems a base prank to intentionally disrupt an affair. A, mem a memo from Josephine written on a letter from Sarah. This guy is a special prick. Swats his people around. Thinks his sovereigns pay for it. Embarrass him at his own party. And you please a dozen people. People with keys and little else. Sarah. A date and time are scribbled below. Also an Orlesian mask with other masks for eyes. If it, it is trivial to ensure we are represented, but should we encourage such base behaviour? Lights out, not murder, just let them stumble in darkness. Small training exercise outside. Eh. Uh, 
I don't think that's a Josephine thing. Man, fuck me. This sucks. Oh wait, what was that? Truth or dare the end game. Please, God, let this be. Yes, Ambassador Montelier, please. We have never met, but I believe you have, through discreet means, saved me from a most disagreeable connection. As I dislike being indebted to anyone, I shall endeavour to repay you with a news item of some interest. Were you aware that the Grand Duchess of Leeds recently paid a visit to Lake Celestine? Indeed, she stayed an entire fortnight as a guest of Duke Alvin Blanchard of Valmont Valmontaine. In light of her other connections and the curious amount of coin which spread across the region in the aftermath, you may well, you may wish to pay him a call. Okay, so Leliana, send our agents in, we can expose his connection for all the world to see. Or Josephine, if he was conspiring, the Imperial Court would like to know. It's a Josephine one, go. Let us begin. Fantastic, okay, well. That took about 10 minutes longer than I have liked, but uh, we've got stuff going now at least. Right, so. So. Now it is time to do our traditional post main mission chat with everyone. How bracing to be in the thick of the game again. The last time I was at Alam Shiral was Countess Letienne's wedding. There were a dozen affairs, five secret alliances, and a duel between two chevaliers over the vintage of an Antivan port. But until the Duchess was unmasked, I've never seen the Winter Palace in shock. I don't blame them. They don't see an empress murdered in front of their eyes every day. I must confess, when Celine was killed, my first reaction wasn't sorrow. It was disappointment. How could the Empress of Orlais be taken in by the Duchess's plot? Mm, I do feel guilty about it. That was the fucking worst decision I've had to make. It's like a greater good kind of decision. I feel like the world will be better with the new thing in place, but like, I really shouldn't have done it. Like, you can't just go around fucking... I mean, it's not like we killed them ourselves, but we let it happen, so it's essentially the same thing. And, like, obviously, that's not a good reason. But, eh, uh, whatever. I do feel bad about it. Celine trusted me. Us. To help her. She trusted she could use us. But let's not lose sight of victory. Your actions at the ball have secured us allies and favors alike. It was very exciting. Playing the game was thrilling. We did just make history. With Celine gone, I don't know if it will be for the better or the worse. Although I do wish Varric would show a bit more restraint in his accounts of the evening. Hmm? I was hoping you'd be by. We've received letters from Archon Redanus of Tevinter and King Marcus of Nevara. For both monarchs to come to us is nearly unheard of. Oh yeah? Then we've impressed them. Then the Inquisition's deeds have won their respect. They'd never have contacted us otherwise. Archon Redanus requests that the Inquisition, as a neutral party, destroy a venatory cult on the Nevaran Tevinter border. King Marcus asks the same, but demands we pledge allegiance to Nevara instead of Tevinter. Hmm. What would you do? What course of action would you take if you were in my place? Strained as their relationship with Arle is, I would assist the Imperium. Their friendship is difficult to win, and Marcus is a fading power. To winter is the longer, richer gain. Well, that's the answer then. Uh, what's King Marcus like? What sort of man is the King of Navarra? At this point, elderly. Many fear his health will soon fail him. Still, he is a Pentecost. Their dynasty is exceptionally strong in Navarra. Does Cassandra support him? As a Pentecost, will Cassandra be upset if we don't I don't think she anything? will care. <laughs> With all respect to Sigar Pentecost, her interest in politics is best described as thin. <laughs> Why does Radonis need us? Why is the ruler of Tevinter turning on the Venatori? He has little reason to love them. Archon Redanus has rightly identified Corypheus as competition. Few monarchs relish a self-styled god showing up to claim their throne. What's the Archon like? Tell me about Radanus. Like most Tevinter rulers, He's heir to an ancient bloodline, politically shrewd, and a highly skilled mage. Rumor also claims he has an incredibly soft spot for cats. Okay, we will aid Tevinter. Tell the Archon the Inquisition will do Tevinter the favor of wiping out the Venatori on its borders. Very good, Inquisitor. We'll inform him at once. Solid. 
Okay, do we have a little bit of judging to do? A little cheeky bit of judging? Who among us does not enjoy? First, this wasn't my idea. It is an issue born of titles and heir apparency and... <sighs> Halam Shiral is having difficulty freeing trade routes formerly controlled by Duchess Florian. Had she been tried, her assets would be forfeit and considerable bureaucracy avoided. So they ask that we judge her. Her corpse? <laughs> right. Uh, I have to judge her remains? <laughs> this is supposed to make sense. I'm judging a box. That was the time allotted for rebuttal. Her crimes negated any claim to... Forgive me, there is an order. <clears throat> My decision is to ignore this. There's a precedent. Ha, community service, let's get it over with. Okay, let's go with the uni unique dialogue. There's a precedent. Strangely enough, something similar happened to an uncle of Emperor Leandra II. His trade routes were returned to the reigning monarch. Why don't we just follow suit? A wise choice. Thank you for making it swiftly. Sweet. All right. Was there anything else? Nope. Okie dokie. Uh, all right. Let's go chatting then. Um, that is not the door I thought it was. I need to have a few words with my publisher. The first one will be you, and the second one will be Bastard. <laughs> what did he do? They've claimed for years my crime serials don't sell in Orlay. So why is the Council of Heralds asking me for autographs? Oof. Sorry. Distracted. Anyway, you need something? This is all the same, right? Carry on. Sup, bruh? There are spirits hovering by the veil to observe the thrones of powerful nations, the machinations, betrayals. After our time in Halam Shirao, I understand why. I had forgotten how I missed court intrigue. You've seen this before. You miss court intrigue? When were you at court? He disapproves? Oh, well, never directly, of course. An elven apostate is rarely invited to speak with empresses and kings. But hmm. from the fade, I have watched dynasties form and empires crumble. It is sometimes savage, sometimes noble, and always fascinating. In any event, Gaspar should be a steadfast ally. Briala will keep him in check and look after the elves. I'm pretty sure he just lied. What are you hiding? He's like, I, he's normally very smooth, but he just stumbled on that. He's like, I miss court. I'm like... Oh, I didn't know you'd be. It's like he tripped over his words trying to think of a way out. I'm pretty sure he's just lied to me, but I don't know why. Hmm. I hope it helps the elves. I hope Briala is able to use her position to help our people. Our people? Who are? Oh, you mean elves? What? I'm what? sorry. I was confused. I do not consider myself to have much in common with the elves. What is going on with Solus today, man? How how'd you not what? Who do you consider yourself to have much in common with then? Who do you have much in common with? Who are your people? A good question. I joined the Inquisition to save the world. Regardless of who my people are, this was the best way to help them. As for the elves of Orlay, I believe Briala is doing quite well on their behalf. She is an admirable woman. I admire you. You're an admirable man. Not many people know who they are the way you do. Thank you. Both for saying that and for seeing that. Few in this world can see me. Instead of just seeing a pair of pointed ears. Man, those are some weird-ass answers. Have you got anything else? Hello. We've I need to asked this a million times, Corinthians. right? He will need to demonstrate that no one in this world can stand against his magic. Wait, is that it different? It will not be subtle. We'll talk later. Dareth Shirar. 
can't remember if that's different or not. Whatever. Uh, right, no, we need to go upstairs first. Nice popping. Those are some very weird answers. I'm pretty sure he just lied to me, but like, why would he? Marvelous business, the Winter Palace. Indeed. An empress dead, an emperor under your spell, and that elven harpy eating out of your hand. If she doesn't bite it off. All this dancing, politics, and murder ah, makes me a bit homesick. I mean... He's not interested, so is this like just flirty fun? Flirty? Not like... I don't know. Normally, romance options don't... Do they still show up? Oh no, they do still show up, even after you're in a relationship. No, I'm just forgetting. Um, I mean, sure, let's just see what he says. That's something you'd like to do more often, then. Watch as you twist an entire empire around your little finger. Yes, please. Of course, that leaves only to Vinter. And it wouldn't work as well there. No. Why not? Our dances are so much more intense. If an evening lacks a murder, we sniff and call it a ball. I hope you tried the ham they were serving, by the way. Tasted of despair. <laughs> I should go. Here I thought we were just getting to the good part. Roll up, roll up. Try all new despair ham. Coming soon to store near you. Greetings again, Inquisitor. Everything well? I trust everything is well. Most are pleased with the alliance. I'll leave hey. you. Do I have anything for this? Wait, that's not the table. Where's the table? This is the table. Yep. Uh, what was out here again? All right. Vivian. If you Hi. require any assistance. Were you here before? I can't talk Inquisitor. To okay. Uh, hi. Oh, cutscene. Inquisitor, I wonder if you might help me with a delicate situation. There is an alchemical formula that I must complete, but I have been unable to obtain a critical ingredient. The heart of a snowy wyvern. I had arranged to obtain one, but the chevaliers working with me were killed in the Civil War. Okay. Uh, tell me about the wyvern. If I'm going to hunt down a snowy wyvern, I need you to tell me everything you know about it. They're quite rare and exceedingly dangerous. Their venom is the most potent of any wyvern. Ordinary hunters would not make the attempt. The risk is too great. You, my dear, would certainly be an equal to this monster. Wow, is that like the first time she's ever complimented me? What is this formula? I didn't know you were an alchemist, Vivian. What exactly is this project you're working on? It is a special request from a member of the Council of Heralds. I am still the Imperial Court Enchanter, after all. The matter is private. That is all there is to say. You won't tell me? You want me to risk my life to get this thing for you, but you won't tell me what it's for. My dear, it is hardly proper for me to blab the secrets of those who put trust in my discretion. I would not have attained my position at court if I didn't know when to be silent. Perhaps you should go get it yourself then. Why do you want my help? I'm not a hunter. Why do you think I can help? This beast is not hunted for sport, as other women sometimes are. It is far more deadly. In the past, chevaliers have been dispatched to either kill the creatures or drive them away from villages. Since my chevaliers have fallen to political conflict, I find myself in need of someone with a martial aptitude. I mean, I will, because it's a quest, but... <laughs> if it was like, if it was just a choice and it didn't lead to more content by saying yes, then I would say fuck off. <laughs> I'll do what I can. Thank you, my dear. I would be most grateful. I shall give the location of its lair to Cullen. Remember, my dear, I must have its heart or the potion will not work. I eagerly await your success. I will certainly have a big cry for you if I fail to get its heart. But I'm sure I will. Yes? Wait, I've already done it? Is it done? I'd like to know more about you, Madame Vivienne. Whatever would you like to know. Okay, we've done that. Yes? I guess I've already done it. Do you think that you and I might someday? How very sweet of you to ask, but no. <laughs> yes? It's done. 
Your lost books have been found. Oh, wait. Your assistance in this matter will not be forgotten, I assure you. That bit has not been done, okay. Did you need something, darling? Right, right. A request has been made of you, Inquisitor. Here it is. What is your evaluation of how we're doing? I am able to pursue my duties with optimal efficiency, thanks to Skyhold. As you were. Yes, Inquisitor. I am so glad to hear that, man. Right, upwards, Leliana. Where's she at? Over here. So it's true. Some look to Cassandra or even me as just right. To yes, that was something else. I never thought the idea would gain momentum. Of course, with the other candidates out of the picture. I would like to install you. Can we install you as divine? What do you want? Is becoming divine something you really want? When Justinia was alive, I would have laughed at anyone who even suggested that I could be her successor. Things have changed. Still, I don't know. Restoring the Chantry will be like trying to steer a sinking vessel through a storm. I will help if I can. Whoever becomes divine will have my support if she requires it. And I'm sure whoever becomes divine will absolutely require the Inquisition's backing. The Chantry is faltering, but it still has influence over the people. Who tells the people what's right? Who do they look to in times of peril? A divine with enough support can change the Chantry. And with it, Thedas. But this is a discussion for later. If Garypheus wins, finding a new divine will be the least of our problems. Cool, cool. Man, what an incredible fucking... What's the word I'm looking for? Like... Arc, I guess it would be for Leliana. We meet her just in a random fucking pub in DAO, and she's like, you know, had her life kind of taken away from her and stuff. And she comes with us and has this massive journey with the hero of Ferelden. And then from there, she goes on to rise up through the ranks and become the hand of the divine. And then from there, to become the divine herself. What an amazing arc that would be if we could get that to happen, which hopefully we will be able to. Sounds like the kind of thing we'd get to choose. Uh, we've read that. Was there no one else up here? I guess there was no one else up here. Right. Uh, Cullen then. Cullen is... Over here. Superhero landing. Uh... Oh, I thought he was, like, crying or something. He's just looking at some books. First the Templars, now the Grey Wardens. Both devoted their lives to fighting evil. Now they serve it. Uh, so if I was possessed... If I was possessed by a demon, would you... I would rather not consider it. Good answer. Um, I want to know more about you. May I ask you something? Of course. Hmm. Can we ask all of these? Like, they're not a question mark symbol, but hopefully we can ask all of them. You knew the hero? If you don't mind my asking, the hero of Ferelden was a circle mage. Did you know him? I attended his harrowing, actually. He was a talented mage, considering he brought an end to the blight that goes without saying. Are you against Templars now? Do you think Templars should cease to exist? No. I may have chosen to lead that life, but I respect those who remain. Magic ungoverned could tear the world apart. It's doing so now. Templars are trained and able to confront such dangers. Yeah, but they do not use their powers for good. <laughs> Most Templars are fucking evil. What would you suggest? Some call the Circle a prison that can only breed resentment. Perhaps opportunities to work outside the Circle. A mixed military service or healers clinics with Templar support. And there must be a safer way for Templars to leave. Templars can lose their memories to lyrium. Some call it a gift to forget the failed harrowings, the demons. Some atrocities haunt me still. But to lose what good I can recall, I nearly lost my mind once. It is no gift. I nearly lost my mind once. Is he talking about all the shit he did in DA2, I assume? Oh no, he'll be talking about after what happened in DAO, I guess. 
Uh, we don't need Templars at all. Mages can take care of themselves. We don't need Templars. Tell that to the parents of a child who falls prey to possession. Mages cannot handle such threats alone. We need something, but we don't need Templars. The Templar order is completely fucking corrupt and just fucked all around. We need something that is not the Templars, that does not have the same people as the Templars, that does not attract the same people that are attracted to being a Templar, so that they can, you know, help and teach mages, but not fucking imprison, murder, and, you know, do the Templar shit. Is your family all right? You've mentioned siblings. With everything that's happening, do you know if they're all right? I've received word from my eldest sister. She was always good at tracking me down. South Reach has experienced the same chaos as everywhere else. My family is fine. Pray they remain so. Tracking you down? Your sister tracked you down. She didn't know where you were. I let her know I was in Haven. She assumed I survived. I mean, it's not the first time. I may have neglected to tell her when I was transferred to Kirkwall. Why? I wasn't in a good state. I wanted only to leave. I received an angry letter about my disappearance two years later. For all her reprimands, it was a relief to hear from someone who knew me before the blight. What is it you regret? You still regret the man you became after leaving Ferelden. After the Ferelden Circle, I thought all mages were like the ones there. Knight Commander Meredith's methods were harsh, but they kept people safe. <laughs> Apart from all the people she killed, didn't keep them safe. You said Meredith was unstable. She was my knight commander. I had no reason to distrust her. She wasn't wrong about the blood mages in Kirkwall. Meredith encouraged my anger towards the mages. Yeah, I bet she did. It was only so far I would go, and she knew that too. I was her second in command. She kept decisions from me, those I would question. That sounds like I some fucking she was serving the city. I never thought to question her, not until it was too late. That is absolutely copium. People died for that. Your fear of mages blinded you. Lives were lost for that. A truth that haunts me. It's not yet enough. The Inquisition is my chance to atone. I will see it through. What will you do next? The Inquisition won't last forever. What will you do when this is over? To be honest, I hadn't given it much thought until recently. I'm not used to having so many possibilities. That's all I wanted to know. I'm sure you have other matters to attend. Okay, who next? Uh, is there anyone else up here? We've done Varric. We've done Liliana. We've done Dorian. We've done Solus. Done Cullen. I think that's everyone over there. Yeah, no, like, we need a new organization that is not the Templars. That has not got any of the same members that the Templars have, because, like, you can't if you carry over people from one to the other, then it's just going to become the same thing, which is not okay. So we need something new that is, like... It's the difference between, like, prison and school, I guess. Like, you don't want to... You, you can't just take the fucking prison wardens and stick them in a school as teachers and be like, right, this is, this is fine now. It's like, you need new people that are all about teaching, not about fucking murdering. You know I've got no problem with Orlesians, but Halam Sharal was a mess. At least under the Kune, you don't get everyone tripping on each other's dicks while the country goes to crap. Uh. Corypheus had agents sowing dissent and muddying the waters. That's just it. Orle is so vulnerable. If you killed everyone in the Triumvirate, the Kuhn would survive unchanged. Uh, I don't know. The Kuhn isn't perfect, but it doesn't care what any single person wants. Orle is full of people who care about nothing else. Yeah, I mean, there's positives and negatives to that, right? Like, for good parts of the Kuhn, then hooray! A single person cannot change and make it bad. But for bad parts of the Kuhn, then boo. A single person cannot change and make it good. Like, you're just stuck. Never able to change. Hey, boss. How are you? See you later, Bull. Nice talking with you, boss. 
your worship. Can you think of any other tasks suitable for the judges? A few Orlesian nobles didn't like how things ended at the Winter Palace. They're not rebelling outright, but they've brought in mercenary companies in preparation. The charters have a good reputation. If we go in, we can buy the companies out from underneath them. Hmm. The nobles will lose the men they meant for causing trouble, and the Inquisition gets some fresh blood. Sounds good. We'll talk later. Have fun standing on your chair, dude. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. I, I don't think. You heard what they did out there. You got the adamant. They I did. Know. I don't see why it concerns you. We still got one of them here. What if his mind goes too? Clearly, our warden is of sterner constitution. I don't know. Thank you. I think the Kuhn's a good way, like, to never be able to change things. Like, wait, why is this door shut? This door wasn't shut before, was it? Oh. One for the Empress. For Gaspar. Brianna, the Duchess. Don't open the door. <laughs> right in the dangle bag. Don't open the door while she's firing at it. Uh, remind me not to get you mad. Well, remind me to stay on your good side. <laughs> like you'd listen. Doesn't matter. It's not you. It's the pile of dead in Halam Sharal. A cook here, a footman there. What's it matter, right? So long as there's a book for the throne. A skinny elven puppet arse at that. Wonder how long before she forgets her poor elves. I don't think she will. Ugh, that place. Should have just thrown in some bees and slammed the doors. We made important decisions. We decided the course of a nation. I think it was worthwhile. Right, Orle will never be the same. Except for everything they say and do. Ugh, you well, know the most important thing I got out of all of that mess? The one thing. Don't sleep with empresses. That's what that was all about. That, and Briala being an idiot, the whole thing would have gone different if that little piss-up wasn't in the middle. Briala's in charge now. You don't think much of her, but Briala came out ahead. Right, because that was all the plan and not dumb luck. Dumb luck named you. Watch out, yeah. The hole in the sky didn't start their war. Stupid people did that. Still going to be plenty of those after Corifions is dead. Yep, I still don't like Sarah. Something you want? Fuck off. No, I'm not going to, but man, fuck off. I'll be back if I need you. Go on. One of my least favorite for sure. I might do a tier list of companions once I'm done What's of all the games, on? if I can be asked, which I might not, but... <laughs> Because I would fucking relish the opportunity to put her in fucking F tier. I didn't understand the Grand Ball. It would have been easier if they said what they wanted. Well, yeah. Welcome to life. Orlesian nobles see politics as a great competition. Yes. But none of them ever win. I mean... I'll talk to you later. Yes. Pretty sure there was a winner there. <laughs> it wasn't the Empress, <laughs> but there was a winner. What did I tell you? Right. So. Will you not consider it, Lady Cassandra? The clerics are still sequestered. If no one steps forward, they will debate until. They're and having you think a mass I debate. Make them agree. I've heard enough for one day, Mother Giselle. Talk to her, your worship. The fuck do you think I'm here for? <laughs> she bothering you? Having fun? The fun never ends in Skyhold, does it? The Inquisitor was hilarious. That's what they'll say one day, you watch. Hope so. I assume you've heard <laughs> that Leliana and I are both candidates to be the I next have. divine. I'm afraid I support Because her. of what happened at Halam Shiral, of course, the Empire favors you. Thus, everyone close to you. So now the Chantry bandies our names about without even asking us first. Hmm. So refuse? Is that even possible? You'd be perfect. How can you and Leliana be candidates? You're not even priests. It's not without precedent. Amar III was sister to the Emperor, and Galatea a commoner. Leliana and I were, at least, part of the Chantry hierarchy. It would be accepted. <laughs> Why am I not a candidate? 
If they'll pick non-priests, why am I not a candidate? Because you're a mage, first and foremost. If they name you a candidate, they may as well join the Tevinta Imperium. Hmm. Truly, though, I imagine it's because they're frightened of you. A weight such as yours would break the Sunburst throne and tear the Chantry to pieces. I just don't know why they believe Liliana or I would be any better. I wonder what she'd have said if I wasn't a mage, whether it would have just skipped those lines and moved straight to their scared of you, or... I mean... I don't want to... I Like, I'm sure she'd be good. I just don't want to... In case this is, like... In case this is backing her, and then she'll get it over Liliana. So I'm not going to say you'd be perfect, but... If you don't want it, then refuse. If you don't want it, then tell them so. Surely it was never meant to be like this. The Chantry, the Circle of Magi, the Templars, this cannot be what they intended when it all began. The Chantry should provide faith, hope. Instead, it cannot veer from its course, even in the face of certain death. You really feel that way? I'm surprised to hear you of all people say that. Oh? Am I not the same woman who declared the Inquisition against the Chantry's wishes? In all my years as a Seeker, I did what I was told. My faith demanded it. But now my faith demands something else. That I see with better eyes. The Chantry's failed. The Chantry has failed, Cassandra. I wonder if the legions of faithful throughout Thedas would agree with you. Did you know Varric is Andrastian? Oh, he blasphemes with every second breath, but deep down he believes. His heart is virtuous. But he would never step foot in a Chantry. It should be the first place to which the virtuous turn. It needs to change. Perhaps I must be the one to change it. I can help you? Nah. <laughs> nah. What of Leliana? You're not the only candidate. What about Leliana? Leliana says she wishes to follow Justinia's legacy. But she and I remember a different person. Justinia knew her fellow clerics and the people would only accept so much change. Liliana would cast it all aside and start over, I think. That's good. And that would be chaos for us all. That is what you need to do. What would you change about the Chantry? The Circle of Magi has its place, but it needs reform. Let the mages govern themselves with our help. Let the Templars stand not as the jailers of mages, but as protectors of the innocent. We must be vigilant, but we must also be compassionate to all peoples of Thedas, human or no. That is what I would change. I mean, it's not the worst thing I've ever heard, but I'd still rather Liliana have a shot at fucking complete change rather than just, you know, bit by bit. Uh... She's going to greatly disapprove if I say this, but I'm very curious what she'll reply to it. Perhaps the Chantry needs more than just change. You mean get rid of it entirely? I disagree. Without the Chantry, the faithful would be lost. The Chantry must simply be more responsible in how it leads. I suppose I should not be so concerned. The clerics speak my name for now, nothing more. For now... Restoring order and stopping Corypheus remain our priority. Hmm. I trust all is well. About the Tranquil Cure. I want to talk to you about the cure for tranquility. It's not a cure. Not truly. Oh? Mages who were once tranquil lose all control over their emotions. They become irrational, unable to focus. Perhaps that state eventually passes and they can be helped, but it will take time to Seems investigate. like something you should have fucking mentioned sooner. But you will investigate. But you are going to look into it. That is my intent. I would not want news of a cure to spread until we know for certain we can help these people. Once we have that, however, then I will spread the word myself. Do you want to be divine? So, you're a candidate for divine now? So I am informed. Is that something you actually want? Why should what I want matter? Isn't happiness important? Why shouldn't it matter? Don't you have the right to be happy? It is very simple. 
The charm tree needs to survive. To do that, it must change. I have never believed in asking another to do what you are unwilling to do yourself. So I look upon this as an opportunity. I owe it to myself and all of Thedas to seek the Sunburst throne. Perhaps there's another way. There are other ways you can change things. Perhaps. I may not have a choice in the matter if the Chantry clerics pick another. Do you have any advice for me? Hmm. It seems that Corypheia searches for elven artifacts. Indeed. That's hardly surprising. Tevinter power is based on what those vultures scavenged from the ancient elves. Whatever advantage he hopes to gain, we need to stop him at once. Do you have any advice for me? We must root out the Red Templars. They form the bulk of Corypheus's forces. Do you have any advice for me? Nothing that you could not think of yourself. That's enough. Another time. I. Is there anything we can do in here right now? Uh, no. The garden requires more elf fruit. Uh, the watchtower requires a bunch of shit. Logging stands and quarries. Hmm. Nothing? Unfortunate. What? Oh, oh I didn't do anything? Maker, you cannot imagine how many letters I've received about the fracar at Halam Shirel. Fortunately, you tied twice as many threads as cut. Although it is yet bewildering at the center. It calls to start. There are problems coming out of Halam Shirel. There are always problems from Halam Shirel. We've lost a few contracts, but more than made up for it. Although, if a few commendations were given, it might retie some severed threads. I couldn't suggest how. That is better decided at your war table, and I'm not going near that thing. How's it going? Do we have what we need? With Skyhold shining like a beacon? You name it, it's here or on the way. I've wrung out the slackers, given them what for. I think... I think I like this job. As you were. We are here for you, Inquisitor. Well, I'd hope so. Right. Um. Do we know where Morrigan's at? Where's Morrigan chillin'? Maybe she's with the Alluvian? Be here is she? Nope. Is there ever gonna be a point to this room? Like, I don't know why it exists. I don't know. Hello. Hello. You oh fuck me. Oh my god, you're so slow. Come on. Your worship. As you were. Of course, Inquisitor. Oh, there she is. Hello, my beloved. You're the Inquisitor. Oh my god, is that my son? Mother never told me the Inquisitor was an elf. Oh shit. Oh shit, that is my fucking son. Oh man. Is that a bad thing? That's not such a terrible thing, is it? No, I just don't know why your people want to look like that. <laughs> what? Kieran, are you bothering Kieran. the Inquisitor? Of course not. Did you see what's on her hand, Mother? I did see. Tis time to return to your studies, little man. <sighs> hey, kid, I fucked your mum. <laughs> My son. Never where you expect him to be. 
Naturally. Naturally. I didn't know you had a son. Why would you? I take great pains to not let my own reputation affect him in any way. To most in the Imperial Court, he's simply a quiet and well-spoken lad. Perhaps the heir of some distant family. But he goes where I go. Worry not, Inquisitor. Kieran is a curious boy, but seldom troublesome. <laughs> Where's Daddy? Will his father be joining us as well? It would be... most unlikely. His father helped raise Kieran for a time, but events have conspired to take him elsewhere. So, tis but the two of us, Inquisitor. Your fortress is a large place, and you will scarce notice our presence. You must be proud. He seems like a fine young man. But not the sort one might expect a woman like me to raise? No son of mine would be raised in a marsh, bereft of contact with the outside world. His PTSD future would moment. be difficult <laughs> enough without my adding to his burden. To think, until recently, this place stood decrepit. Occupied only by the desperate and the lost. Now it is party to events that threaten to shake the world. I wonder if it is pleased. You know about Skyhold? It sounds like you've heard of Skyhold before. This fortress was built upon the remains of a site holy to the ancient elves. They called it Tarar Salan, the place where the sky is kept. It is said that from here, they reached up to the heavens to bring them down to rest. They abandoned it, as did the humans who came after them. Bones laid upon bones, silent until your arrival. I'm rather fond of it. I like this place. I've made it mine. The magic in this place has seeped into the stones, protecting it from darkness. Oh, yeah? Those who let it fall to ruin did not know what they possessed. You, I think, shall do it justice. Hope so. You were kind to welcome my aid, Inquisitor, even knowing as little of me as you do. I will do my best to aid your cause with all the knowledge at my disposal. This I swear to you. Thank you. I appreciate whatever help you can give us. Some might think Corypheus a madman for seeking godhood. Yet one must ask what were the old gods? What secrets of theirs did the ancient magisters know? What I fear, what all should fear, is not that Corypheus believes he can succeed, tis that he actually may. Well, lovely talking to you. <laughs> Leliana gave me the note that the hero of Ferelden included for me. She may even have left it sealed. A pity. You would have learned things that could make even an Orlesian blush. Now... Huh? Was there anything else? I mean, Leliana knows what the hero of Ferelden was like. <laughs> Leliana slept with the hero of Ferelden before you did, Morrigan. Thoughts on the Inquisition? Now that you've seen the Inquisition up close, what are your impressions? Tis remarkable what you have built. I will give you that. A web of favours has wrapped every noble family in Southern Thedas around your fingers. All this in precious little time, conjured from thin air through the power of fervor alone. I wonder if Corypheus suspected what he was enabling, just as I wonder what will become of all this once he is defeated. Well, first we must defeat him. We have to defeat him first, then I'll worry about what's next. Should that happen, the world will lie at your feet, more or less. Beware the heights you reach, Inquisitor. When this is done, Many will be eager to knock you back down. You know about Elven Law? You seem to know a great deal about Elven Law. The Dalish are not the only ones interested in the distant past, Inquisitor. Indeed, my skills allow me access to places the Dalish dare not even dream of. The ancient elves hold secrets they have not yet given up. Secrets about the foundation of Thedas itself. Thus, they are my focus. Corypheus clearly feels the same. Tell me more about you. I'd like to know more about you. Ah, yes. Whence comes the mystery woman slinking her way into the Inquisition's ranks? Once I was an apostate, living well away from the banal influence of the Chantry in the Kakari Wilds. Then came the Fifth Blight with its dark spawn, and I left Ferelden for the Empress's court. Tis certain the nobles of Orlais breathe a collective sigh of relief that I am now here. You're an apostate? It's odd that an apostate could live so... openly. <laughs> it 
It confuses those who expect apostates to cower and hide. I stand boldly before them and demand to know why I need some Chantry mage to teach me to control my power. They would put me on a leash so they can feel safer at night. I am uninterested in their comfort. <laughs> Naturally, it helps to have friends in high places. Why the Orlesian Court? The Orlesian Court seems like an odd place to find someone like you. That was the point, originally. I knew the Empress was intrigued by the Arcane and that I could answer questions no Chantry mage could. Thus, we fit together nicely. I became her advisor and she my benefactor and source of refuge. The moment Selene perished, my time in court was done. I do not miss it over much. You were in the Fifth Blight. You were in Ferelden during the Blight. The Blight began in the Kukari Wild, so yes, I experienced it firsthand. Indeed, I fought at the hero of Ferelden's side for a time. He is the reason the Blight was defeated. We became close, closer than I even thought possible. When I left, he pursued me. And after that, I came to Orlais. <laughs> Just skipping over that period of time when you were living together. Head. Tell me about Kieran. Tell me more about your son. He is a very special young man. Mm. Special in what way? He's a fucking in old god. Way. Sort of. At first, Kieran was a means to an end. But as he grew, I never thought of myself as a mother inquisitor. I, I had no good example to follow. I find myself becoming something I can barely recognize. Interesting. What was the end? He was the means to an end. She was using him to trap the old god's soul. For what purpose? We don't know. I don't think. Unless I'm just being super forgetful. But I'm pretty sure we don't know. But, like, she's saying that that's now changed. Originally, he was just a means to an end. But now she's, like, been looking after him for ages. Now she loves him. And, like, she's can't recognize herself because she's becoming, like, a mother first. And her plans are, like... Now a second place to that. I'll leave you to the garden. Of course. Anything else? I was pleased to learn you saved the Grey Wardens from their own self-destructive foolishness. For all their eagerness to shed blood for their cause, we will still need them should another blight arise. Two to go. It's fortunate my Warden was not there, or he would surely have been in the middle of it. Your Warden? You might know him as the Hero of Ferelden. A lofty title, though... He wears it well. <laughs> uh, where are you at? Where is your warden now? My love is on a quest to combat the calling. The actual calling that signals the end of a warden's life. If he is successful, it will mean a long life for him. Perhaps for them all. Hope so. Once Corypheus has been defeated, I fully intend to join my love once more. Ah, that's good. Kira that's new information. Kieran misses him as well. That's interesting. Okay, so, well, that's good that we know her plans. Why didn't you go with him? It seems odd he went on an adventure and you stayed behind. We are neither of us so weak we would die of loneliness. Where he went, Kieran could not follow, and thus I remained behind to look after our son. We will be together again soon enough, and I am glad of it. Cool. Can he stop the calling? How can the calling be stopped? Is that actually possible? Grand Enchanter Fiona was once a Grey Warden, but something removed the blight. From yeah, the blight. I thought that was weird. Similarly, a warden mage named Avaness performed experiments that prolonged his life to unnatural lengths. So we know it is possible. Indeed, twas I who found the lead my love now follows in the Western lands. Success is not guaranteed, of course, but he has never lacked for determination. Are you happy? Are the two of you happy together? The three of us. And it is little business of yours. But yes. I never thought to find someone in this world I could trust as an equal. He has been a good partner. And a good father. And now I pray we discuss something else, lest these honeyed words make me vomit. <laughs> oh, I'm so pleased to hear that. Is there any way the hero of Ferelden could help us against Corypheus? Tis unlikely. Corypheus uses the blight, but he is not controlled by it like a true darkspawn. Still... My love has ever been resourceful. I can give the Inquisition a means to send him a message. Please do. I think this means I miss him, of course. <laughs> oh, he will be insufferably pleased with himself. <laughs> I hope you appreciate this sacrifice, Inquisition. Oh, very much. Very much so. 
I imagine your forces will be heading into the Arbor Wilds very soon, Inquisitor. Trust me when I say that wherever the Alluvian is hidden, it is worth any effort to prevent Corypheus from acquiring it. I'd like to know more about you. If you have questions, then ask. No more. I'll leave you to the garden. As you like. My Lady Inquisitor. Okay, there we go. We exhausted her dialogue. Garden. Good shit, man. As you like. Very good shit. We love to see it. We love to see it. 